Hello everyone, welcome to Kavitha Seju portal. Today we are going to see about Google Docs. So there are n number of Google apps available for educators. Starting with your Google Docs, Google Forms, Google Sheets, Slides, Classroom, Google Groups, Google Meet, Google Drive, Google Sites and YouTube. In this video, we are going to explore into Google Docs. So we will see how to create, edit and share Google Docs. Google Doc is nothing but a word processing uh, app, but it is cloud based. Okay, so we'll see how it works. So in order to create this Google Docs, there are different ways available. One is like you just log into your Gmail ID where you have Google Apps. Scroll down, you will have your Google Documents. Just click on this, you can access it. Second way, you can go to your Google Drive. Even here itself, you will have your Google Drive. Just click on it, go to your Google Drive. There you have new option. From there you can click Google Docs and create. Okay. And the third is you can go to your google.com directly. From there you can access Google Docs. Click on it, you will get it. So there are different ways to access your Google Docs. So I will show you in from the Google Apps. How do I create my Google Docs? So just click on here. See, this is your Google Doc screen. You can create your blank document. Uh, Google has given you a number of templates for a, creating a resume or a lecture or a project proposal or a brochure. So if you, are, uh, if you want to have a predefined template using which you want to create the document, that is possible. And whatever uh, documents that are opened recently or whatever document which has been sh uh, shared with me, everything will be available here that I can easily access it. So we will see how to create a blank document. So just click on this blank. So as soon as you click on that blank, your, your document is being created. So you can give a name for your document, for example document. So once you started giving a name for it, it will automatically save it. In MS Word, whatever we do, you have to save it separately. But in Google Docs, the advantage is that since we are in the cloud platform, whatever we do, it automatically it is saved in your Google Drive. Then this menu is as similar like our MS Word. You have File menu, you have Edit menu, View menu, Insert, using which any images, tables, header, footer, all those can be inserted. You have the formatting options. Uh, similar like our Google MS Word. Then tools, you have your spelling and grammar checking tool, word count tool, all those. Okay. So let us assume that we are creating a sample document. This is uh, like a session plan that I'm going to share with the students. Okay. So uh, let me just type digital marketing course, a sample course. And you can do whatever alignment you want to do for that. Okay, so in this, uh, suppose you want to type in it, everything, you can type it or if you want to copy, already if you've uh, had uh, some, uh, something being typed in your MS Word and available, you can just copy paste here. So I have just pasted it. So you can observe, so whatever uh, formatting I've done here, that is automatically being applied here also. So this is just a session plan for one week. I've created it. Then if you want to insert any images also that is possible. So go to insert image. You can upload it from the computer. You can search it from the web or you can take it from your Google Drive or your photos or even you can insert some URL. So let me upload it from my computer. See there is one image. I will just insert it. Then if you want to center align you can align it. Okay, then suppose I want to give them some URL. Maybe the first thing I want them to see some video. Maybe I have my uh, introduction video about digital marketing. So I can insert the link. Just copy paste the link. Okay, so they can just click it to uh, view the video. Then one more important facility Google has given you is that even you have a voice typing because sometimes some people may feel typing everything is not possible. So even you can voice type. So see in different languages also it is available. So wherever you want the voice, see where you want to type it, 
just I'm keeping the cursor there. See, before this YouTube link, I want to tell the students that they have to see this video. So I voice type it. Hi students, please watch the video below to understand about digital marketing. So that's it. I suppose this underlining I want to remove. I can do that. Okay. So this is the way you can just create. Uh, you can uh, insert your content directly. You can copy paste it or you can type your own content and you can do all the formatting for that. You can insert images. You can insert URL. You can voice type. So whatever you'd like to do it. So once it is done, there are two options. Either I can directly share with my students or I can download it as either as a Word file or a PDF document and save it in the local drive and later I can mail it. Okay. So now suppose uh, I'm going to share it. So just click on share. Uh, you give the mail ID of the person. If you have your group mail ID of your students, you can just give that. Otherwise, individual mail ID you have to give in. So just give mail ID. Then there are uh, option. I mean uh, viewing or editing option available. So for the students, normally I want to give only a viewer rights. And if you want to give a commenter rights or editor rights, depending on the document that you are sharing, you can do what? So since they are students, I'm going to give only a viewer rights. And notify people, uh, it will give an indication to the intimation to the uh, students that there is a mail came and the document is available for them to view it. And if you want to type any message here, you can give it. Just give send. So now the document is shared. So you can go and see how the document look in my mail. See a sample document invitation to view. So I can open in docs. I can see whatever is being shared. And if I want to click the link, I can click it to see the video also. Okay, so this is a way you can use your Google Docs, you can create the documents, you can edit it and you can share it. So maybe during this COVID-19 situation, these kind of tools will be helpful for you in sharing your content with your students. So thanks for watching the video. Thank you.